in this video you study about bell drive so drive means it is the mechanical power transmission system power transmission means the power is transmit from this driving shaft to the driven shaft it is called as the power transmission system and this power is transmit by using this endless belt that's why it is called as the belt drive belt drive are one of the common methods generally use whenever power or rotary motion is required to transmit between a two parallel shaft now here you see the diagram this is the driving shaft this is the driven shaft so both the shaft are parallel to each other so whenever we require to transmit the power between the two parallel shaft we can use the bell drive and here we transmit the rotary motion of the driving shaft to the driven shaft a bell drive consists of two pulley one pulley is called as the driving pulley and this driving pulley is installed on the driving shaft so here you see this is the driving shaft and on the driving shaft by using the key the driving pulley is mount second pulley it is called as the driven pulley and this driven pulley is installed on the driven shaft and it is fitted by using the key other component is a endless belt so this belt that is wound on the pulley and it have no end that's why it is called as the endless belt means they are make without the joints that's why its name is given the endless belt and this belt is passed over both of the pulley as shown in the figure the mechanical power or rotary motion is transmitted from the driving pulley to the driven pulley due to the frictional grip between the belt and the pulley surface so in a last video in a types of drive we already discussed that the common basic two category are there one is the frictional drive and second one is called as the positive drives so belt drive is come on a frictional category means power is transmit from the driving shaft to the driven shaft due to the friction that's why it is called as the frictional drive when the driving pulley rotate driving pulley means this is a driving pulley why its name is given driving because they are connected with this electric motor or ic engine means it is connected with the main power source so power is transmit from this driving shaft to the driven shafts so this is the driving pulley so when driving pulley is rotate belly belt is pull so belt is pull from here okay so it is rotated in a clockwise direction here you see okay then the belt is pull from here and the pull or tension on the one side of the belt is higher than the other side so this side is called as the tight side so here the tension is higher and in this upper side of the driving pulley the tension is lower so it is called as the slack side the portion of the belt that has a less tension is called the slack side and the one that has the higher tension is called as the tight sides so belt is pull from here so it is pull from here so it have the higher tensions and under the side the belt have a lower tension it is called as the slack side the effective pulling now what is meaning of pulling the difference in a tension on the slack and tight sides so this the force are different okay so here the tension is different on a tight side and slack side so this difference is called as the effective pulling cause the rotations of the driven pulley so why driven pulley is rotated driven pulley is rotated due to this difference of the tight side and the slack sides the portion of a belt between the two pulley that becomes either slack or tight depends on the direction of rotations of the driving pulley so we know that rotary motion is possible in a two direction one direction is called clockwise second direction is called anti clockwise okay so the slack and tight side is depends on the directions of the pulley so here the direction is clockwise okay, so belt is pulled from this side so this is tight side and this is the slack sides now second is the anti clockwise directions 
so when the anti clockwise rotations are there the lower side is the slack side and upper side is the tight side so here you see this driving pulley is rotated anti clockwise direction so belt is pulled from the upper side of the pulley so it is called as the tight slide and this lower side of the pulley is called as the slack sides so for the clockwise directions and for the anti clockwise directions the tight side and slack slide are different so in a clockwise direction tight side is the bottom side and in a anti clockwise direction the tight side is the upper side now before moving ahead i request to like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to basic mechanical engineering or other subject of mechanical engineering for vme subject various link is provided in descriptions as well as an car for other subject i request to visit the playlist of my channel the magnitude of tension on the tight and the slack side of the belt is depend on the angle of contact now here the question is arise what is angle of contact now here in the diagram you see what is angle of contact angle of contact means here the pulley have a 360 degree okay and from the pulley we pass the belt so pulley and belt come in a contact its angle is called as the angle of contact so here for a bigger pulley this theta one is called as the angle of contact for a smaller pulley the belt and pulley is come in a contact up to this area so it is called as the theta 2 so here you see in a bigger pulley the angle of contact is greater than 180 and for the smaller pulley angle of contact is less than 180 so mag uh, magnitude of tension is depends on the angle of contact means angle of contact is higher the more amount of the tension is produced and more amount of the power is transmit the power transmission capacity of drive is proportional to difference in tension on a slack side and a tight sides so power transmission capacity means how amount of the power is transmit it is depend on the difference of this slack side and the tight side in a belt drive there is a chances of slip taking place between the belt and pulley which cause the driven pulley to rotate at the slower speeds and resulting in reducing power transmissions in a belt drive sometime the slip is happen now what is the slip this driving pulley is rotated but belt is not slide it is called as the slip so there are number of reasons for the slip for all the point what is the magnitude of tensions what is the equation for power transmission capacity what is the slip for that i make one separate videos related to these different points so these videos are published in a short days so you can watch that video for what is slips what are the magnitudes therefore bell drive are not a positive type of power transmission system why it is not a positive type of system because of the slip slip means sometimes the driving pulley is rotated but the belt is not slide it is called as the slip and due to this problem of slip the belt drive is not a positive type of power transmission system so question is arise which type of the system is considered as the positive type so in a last video in a types of the power transmission system we already discussed the chain drive and the various types of the gear drive are considered as the positive type of power transmission system because in a positive type of power transmission system slip is not occur so thank you for watching this video if you learn something then like the video subscribe my channels and don't forget to share with your friends